Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now in this video we'll be looking at Paper Merge. Now what Paper Merge is, is an open source bit of software that you can self-host and what it allows you to do is, let's just put down a scenario here, is that you've got a lot of paper uh, receipts or uh, you know your warranties and everything um, are all on paper and you want to document these, you want to you know, put these somewhere digital uh, and also somewhere where you can actually track the text that's within these documents and stuff like that. Well, that's where Paper Merge comes in. What Paper Merge allows you to do is scan your documents, um, be that receipts, warranties, stuff like that I mentioned before, and upload these into Paper Merge. And then what Paper Merge does is actually reads and scans the text within these documents. And then based on whether or not you set them up, you can categorize them automatically um, say if something had like your uh, groceries uh, store's name in it and it found that receipt it would document that and store that in a folder that you had set up for um, or you can just manually upload um, documents here like you would normally and just categorize them yourself as well um, and again you can it, it looks at the text as well so you can actually copy the lines of text within the document um, and do some pretty cool stuff like that so what we'll do is let's just have a quick look at their demo that they have on here and then I'll show you how to get this set up using Docker and then after that we'll have a look around just what it is on the standard install and setting up some automation um, with this. So this is the, their demo uh, account and this is pretty much what you can expect when you come into Paper Merge. So let's just have a look at a document here. So this is open so a lot of people can upload stuff right. So let's just put an example and look at some of these documents. So someone's uploaded the GDPR privacy policy for whatever reason. Um, if we click into this, and now again, let's think of this as a document. We have scanned that was paper, and now we've just put in here. You can actually copy all of these words, right? And I'll show you a better version of this of something that's not really a document and more of like an image and how it clicks the, the wording and stuff from that as well. So um, that, that would be pretty cool to see. So again, it's pretty straightforward. You've just got a documents folder here. You can create new folders. You can tag things, categorize it. And if we come into uh, automates, this is where you can set up those jobs, right? So if I click new, what this allows us to do is give it a name. So uh, let's just call this um, uh, store, anything purchased in certain stores. So the match would be, let's say, um, New World. That's a supermarket here. If anything matched the term new world in any of these documents I did, I could say, hey, look, go to my receipts folder and it would scan it. If anything matched new world, it would put it into there. Now, you can be as specific or as broad as you like with this stuff. It's your um, system that you're setting up. So, yeah, make it work for you. Um, but I'll, I'll show this all the, this working as well. Then we have tags. So here you can tag certain documents. Uh, so then you can search based off tags. And then logs, uh, which is just, you know, your general logs of the actual service itself of Paper Merge, what's been created, the things that have been deleted, who's logged in, stuff like that. So it's a simple in terms of UI, but it can be pretty complex um, and of what it can do in a good way. Uh, the automation, the, the reading, the documents, uh, sharing, all of that stuff. And I've got a huge good uh, getting started documentation for this as well, which I'll link in the description because I'm not going to be able to cover everything. I just want to show you this exists and then you can jump into it yourself if you'd like the look of it. Right, it's enough looking at the overview. Let's have a look and how we can get this installed. Like any good Docker image, uh, you can normally find it on Linux server and this is the one that we'll be using today. As you can see, it was only updated two days ago, which is awesome. It shows that this is still being looked after. Um, so... If you watch my other videos, uh, we'll be using Docker Compose, which allows us to easily set up um, our containers. Uh, if you don't have Docker installed, make sure you've got Docker and Docker Compose installed. Uh, you can find, I'm pretty sure they have uh, a little thing down here on how to get that set up. Uh, maybe not. Um, I'll put some links in the description anyways, uh, so you can check it out if you don't have Docker set up. So all we need to do, though, if you have got Docker and Docker Compose, is literally grab this. And we're going to put that into a text document and then we're going to spin it up. So um, get into a terminal, a Linux terminal or wherever you've got Docker installed and I'll meet you there. So what you want to do is connect into your system that's got Docker installed. Now mine is on the uh, Linux subsystem for Windows or Windows subsystem for Linux or whatever it's called. Um, and in here I have, 
I separate my Docker images by folders. So I've got paper merge here. So I've just created a folder for that. So I'm going to go into that paper merge folder. And then in here, what you want to do is create a docker-compose.yaml file, right? So you can do that in any way, which is just, you can just do nano and then the name of the file you want. So nano docker-compose.yaml. And then in here, so I'll press enter, is where you want to paste the contents from the previous screen uh, into here. And then all you need to do, very easy, is just say um, you need to set up the volume. So this part here to just point to the directory where you would like your volumes to be stored. So the, the data and the configuration for your paper merge. Now, this here can be linked anywhere on your device, right? It can be in the folder where you currently have the YAML file, which is where this is at the moment. I'm saying just create the contact file within this folder where the Docker Compose file is. You could have this going to an external hard drive. You could have this going to, you know, um, cloud storage if you had it configured for that and authenticated anywhere, right? So the power of where you want these volumes is totally up to you. But that's what you really want to change. And then um, if you are using Redis as well, you could have that set up. Uh, Redis is, allows for uh, caching and stuff. There we go. I just set it up with what it should be. And we can see that this will be running on port 8000. So that's how we will connect to it. So once you've got all that in here, save that document. Let's clear our screen, make it a bit easier to read. And we just run sudo docker hyphen compose. Um, up hyphen D I've explained this command many many times but I was do it again uh, so sudo uh, docker compose is saying that there's a compose file within this directory the up statement is saying we're going to grab that compose file and create everything uh, which means bring it all up and run in detached mode which means all the uh, logs and everything that you see all the processes of spinning this up will be in the background and that means that uh, it will continue to run even once we go and do other things on our system. If we weren't running in detached mode, as soon as we were to quit out of the screen of seeing everything spun up, everything would come back down again. So once you've got that, hit enter, and this will start creating everything. And just like that, it's done. So now if we were to go to my IP address of the machine I am currently running this from, if you are running this on a Raspberry Pi or something, make sure you're hitting the Raspberry Pi's IP address, not your desktop's IP address, um, and on port 8000. So I'll see you there. Right, so let me enter this, 192.168.1. Uh, I forgot my IP address, just give me one sec. All right, so I'm on 0 0.248, so let me just enter that in. Uh, 0 0.248 on port 8000, enter. There we go. So we are on the home screen of Paper Merge. So let me make this full screen. Uh, the default credentials is just uh, admin admin. Cool. So uh, it looks like it's still got some stuff from my old setup, uh, from my old storage. I must have deleted it, but that is fine. This is just me testing it before. But so we're here, and now we want to see how everything works. So. What we've got here is uh, a little screenshot I took of something before. You can see this is just a screenshot, right? But what? Look, watch this. I can copy that text from that screenshot, right? So again, it's only as good as the screenshot is. So it's pretty blurry, right? So you can see some text doesn't really copy. But if you were to actually scan documents and stuff, it's going to be pretty good, right? So let me try find another thing to upload real quick. Right, so here's another screenshot I just uploaded of just some random cryptocurrency that I was looking at. Um, so you can see here that all of the text is copy. You know, I can copy this, right? So this is the same for any of your documents and stuff. I didn't have any scanned documents I could upload uh, that I wanted to be public. But anyway, you can kind of get the idea from this, right? So here this says VVS token, right? So let's say I wanted to categorize anything that I were to upload that was had VVS token in the name. How could I do that? Well, let me show you. What we can do is come into automates, um, but first, actually, we want to create a folder for the stuff to go into. So let's just make a new folder and let's just call this crypto. All right. And then if we come down the automates and we say new and we say that this is um, for VVS. Now, anything that were to match VVS, so VVS token like that. Um, and we'll say anything, and it's not case sensitive, it doesn't matter. If anything matches that, please put it in the crypto folder, okay? So if we hit submit, now we can see here that it didn't put it over, but that's because 
um, what we need to do if you want anything to be processed by the automation it actually needs to be dropped in the inbox so let's upload this folder into the inbox and see what happens right so this is my file here so this is the image here that I've got so I'm going to copy this and open it and here it is it's uploading right now if I come to documents right and I click on crypto bam look at that it's it's seen that it had VVS token in the name and it's put it in here and put it straight in there for me so if I come back to automates and go into crypto I could also say tag the stuff as well so I could have said please tag it with crypto as well um, and that that would have worked just fine so if I hit submit I don't know if it's going to do it now because it's already been processed yeah so uh, anything new after this fact it will get that new tag um, and honestly that's pretty much it like it's you, you know you can have your users your roles like I was showing you before um, any, you know if you want other people to be able to log into this if you're going to make this maybe public or whatever you could allow them to have access this way but there's such an easy to use straight to the point tool with that nice level of complexity um, but yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to cover today um, I'll put links in the description for anyone uh, that wants to read the guides and all of that on this but that's pretty much it so I'll um, say goodbye and I'll see you in the next video cheers bye